As we see these shots of, you know, the about uh, we see young people terrified in the streets of Kiev, children, again, the elderly not knowing what to do, except for that one badass woman who got in the face of the Russian soldier. Um, I wonder whether it's going to change. Forget opinions, you know, over there. I'm sure the Ukrainians and even the Russians now 1700 people arrested in Russia for protesting against this. That's extraordinary. You're not allowed to protest in Russia. So, wow. Um, But I just wonder whether it's going to change some of the sentiment back here at home that lately has seemed very pro Putin, like people on the left and the right being weirdly pro Putin. Um, this is who Putin is. This is what he does. It's what well, it hasn't really been a mystery even prior to now. What do you make of it? So I, I'm not sure this the sentiment has much purchase beyond um, a, a few opinion makers, both on, both on the left and, and the right in terms of American public opinion. I think American public public opinion is we don't want to get involved. There's a poll that showed that very starkly the other day, but it's also not in favor of invasions of sovereign countries by dictators that Vladimir Mm -hmm. uh, Putin is. So uh, but it doesn't make much sense to me on the right. You have people who are, okay, you know, Putin, he's religious, supposedly, you know, there's a. uh, Orthodox Church, very influential in, in Russian society. And there are only two genders in, in Russia. They're not doing, doing this crazy trans stuff that we are, which is all fine. But you can oppose crazy trans stuff in this country and also oppose dictators who poison and jail their dissidents and invade neighboring countries. <laughs> that doesn't require much nuance or moral complexity. It just seems easy. And yeah. the best case here is that Europe gets more serious about his defense. There's some indications about that. People realize with NATO under threat it, how valuable it is and it needs to be fortified. And perhaps over the medium or long term, Putin has bitten off more than he can chew because whatever government he's going to set up will be hugely unpopular in Ukraine, will be totally illegitimate and will be under uh, considerable stress. And unless he's you know, has a secret police there forever uh, assassinating and jailing people, which will be difficult. It's it's going to be hard to maintain that government. And as you say, the indications are that there's certainly more opposition to this in Russia than Putin counted on. Otherwise, he would have had, you know, all sorts of fake uh, pro-war protests going and he didn't mm-hmm. do, bother to do that, which suggests. And, he's and the longer taken- it drags on, the, wor- the worse it is for him, the longer it drags on. I will say, though, um, you may be underestimating the, the love for Putin domestically because there is an actress making the rounds on t- Twitter yesterday. I don't know if you saw this. Apparently she was in that mo- that show Nip Tuck, which wasn't bad for a while. And she decided to make a video telling Putin things could have gone get differently for them. If only she had been his mother. Listen to this lunatic. <laughs> Dear President Vladimir Putin, I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. If I was your mother, you would have been so loved, held in the arms of joyous light. Never would the stories plight the world unfurled before our eyes, a pure demise of nations sitting peaceful under a night sky. If I was your mother, the world would have been warm. So much laughter and joy and nothing would harm. I can't imagine the stain, the soul-stealing pain that the little boy you must have seen and believed and the formulation of thought quickly taught that you lived in a cruel, unjust world. Oh, my Lord. That's enough of her. For, OK, the one good thing of this, Rich, the one good thing was the responses. Um, somebody somebody responded. So the answer to this whole crisis was Putin needed more tummy time. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then here is a responder, um, Kate. Well, she goes by Kate Barstool. Listen to her response. Dear President Vladimir Putin, I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. You would get so many raspberries after your bath. Real funny ones on your little Putin belly. You'd laugh so much you'd <laughs> shake like a bowl of Putin jelly. If I had been your mother, I'd let you stay up late to watch 90 Day Fiance. You wouldn't understand it, <laughs> goes, but we'd have fun anyway. If it's I were totally mother, worth looking up. She's amazing. Uh, we only have 30 seconds left, Rich, but your your thoughts on these dueling narratives. Yeah, it's like, like you've stumbled into the worst poetry jam at Brown University ever, right? <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.